Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and today playing some more Black Ops Domination on the map called Havana, I believe. Um, I started off using an M16 with Ghost, Warlord, and Ninja. Warlord allows you to have two um, attachments on your gun, and um, I kind of thought that would be cool for the M16. I think this was, was the first game I tried it, and uh, it works out okay, but... Um, Really, I, I'm not sure if it's all that uh, effective. I think it makes it take one extra bullet long range, but you know, sometimes that's really good, sometimes it's not. Um, M16 is probably the best long range weapon next to the um, sniper rifle, and um, you know, that makes it pretty good. Uh, but you get close range and it gets a little bit difficult to use. Um, SMGs usually outpower it. Secondary, I believe, is some sort of. Uh, not sure what it's called, but it's some sort of launcher that uh, is either free fire or lock on, kind of like the AT4, and um, can shoot down UAVs and stuff. And I think I put that on because I was trying to get uh, Ghost Pro, which involves shooting down enemy air support. And um, yeah, uh, perks. Oh, I already said perks. Um, I have a frag grenade, a concussion enemy grenade, which is a stun. Um, I have claymores this uh, this game. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the claymores in this game. They are a hundred times better than Modern Warfare 2 claymores. Um, when you trip them, they basically go off instantly. So even if you have lightweight on, um, there's a good chance you're still going to get killed by the uh, claymore. And um, definitely more powerful. You're not getting a whole lot of hit markers using them. So they are they're pretty good, uh, I must say. But uh, unfortunately, no more scavenger picking up claymores. So you only get to have one, and uh, that's a little bit uh, depressing. And um, another downside to it is it takes longer to get out because you have to press up on the D-pad and then the right trigger, and it takes about five seconds to place a claymore. So a lot of times I'll uh, get killed while placing it, which is quite unfortunate. And uh, didn't happen in Modern Warfare 2, where you could just drop the claymore right away. Right here I pick up my first uh, spy plane. I believe I'm using a spy plane, a care pack, and the um, attack helicopter. Attack helicopter can actually get you 4 or 5 kills in this game, so it's better than Modern Warfare 2's attack helicopter. Um, you get a place where it goes, so I usually just place it on their flag. Um, Care pack, not a big fan of that anymore. I died a whole bunch of times trying to place that. And I get a nice slew of deaths here. Um, I don't know, I, I find this game kind of puts you into a dying streak, like a death streak. Like, um, Modern Warfare 2 was, like, really big for that, you know. All of a sudden, you'd be, like, 30 and 0, and then all of a sudden you'd get killed once, and then you'd die five times because you got sp you got spawn killed, and the spawns were just, like, not not really good. Um, like, I was playing on a firing range or something, and I spawned at the same spot like five or six times in a row, and every time, there was only one way out of the spawn, and as soon as I walked out, there was three enemies standing there pointing their guns at me. And like, I died every single time I walked out, and it was quite unfortunate. I got a good six or seven deaths just trying to, just trying to leave my spawn, which is quite unfortunate. Um, didn't, didn't really enjoy having that happen to me. Um, Recently, I think I changed my killstreak setup to uh, the spy plane, attack helicopter, and chopper gunner. I think I've only gotten one chopper gunner. I died so many times at um, seven or eight killstreaks. So, like I don't know what it is. You know, I pick up, I pick myself up the attack helicopter, and I don't even call it in right away. But uh, I, I kind of wait, and then I'm waiting for my gunship, and I always get killed. You know. Right at that point, usually I'm, I'm kind of like low on ammo, so I might have to pick up somebody's gun, or, you know, I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what happens, I just end up dying then, but uh, I'll try and get more chopper gunners so I can post post those, they're pretty good, um, I don't think they last as long, and uh, you can't fly it like the gunship, so it's a little bit less effective, but uh, otherwise the damage seems to be about the same, um, right here, nope, not switching class yet, switch class element, um, yeah, what else was I going to say? Um, dolphin Dive? Oh my, I hate Dolphin Dive. So many, like, it's not... A lot of people thought it would be um, a big problem for drop shotting. Uh, I really don't have too much of a problem with that. 
really the problem with me the problem that i am having with that is like i'll be running along and i'll see a guy like off in the distance and like if i'm using the smg i'm not going to try and kill them uh with my smg if they're like really far away so i'll like try to hide behind something like i'll run and duck behind something and i'll end up doing the stupid dolphin dive and uh It'll like, instead of hiding behind the cover, it'll like dive me towards the enemy's bullets and I'll get killed. And uh, that sucks. Like you see, I have no problem drop shotting. It's uh, not that difficult, but, oh, dolphin dive. I wish there was a way to turn it off. Like I can't really see any use for it. It doesn't like give you any extra speed. Um, really, I think you'd probably get just as far away if you ran, so. <laughs> I, I, there's probably like some situation where it's useful, but uh, I haven't found it yet, and I think it does more harm than good. So um, maybe if Treyarch does what they said and you know takes out things the community doesn't want, I don't really think I've seen anybody who likes it yet. So uh, you know maybe we'll see it removed. <laughs> really, I don't think it it's uh, helpful. Like it was a cool idea, but uh, they probably should have uh, made it a little harder to use or something. Uh, but not a fan of the dolphin dive. Um, the sound in this game is retarded. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, when somebody shoots, I think it's from a character. I'm just like, I'm looking at the building. I was like, oh crap, <laughs> it's going on the roof. Uh, but yeah, you can't hear people shoot. Like, uh, if somebody's shooting an unsuppressed weapon, um, even if they're like five feet away from you you can't hear them it sounds like they're shooting a silence gun across the map and like i use a headset and i have the volume up fairly high and i cannot hear weapons like i it does doesn't make a whole lot of sense i'll be looking at the map and i'll see all these red dots near me and i'm like why why are these red dots i don't hear anybody shooting like usually i i look for red dots once i hear people shooting i'm here i pick up the famas silencer uh ghost sleight of hand ninja um i got sleight of hand pro a little bit later on but uh, this is my favorite gun so far, the FAMAS. Um, what I'd recommend in this game, um, AK-74 with extended mags, very good gun. Um, that's quite effective, use that with like uh, lightweight or ghost. I recommend using ghost on every class just because really lightweight doesn't help you a whole lot. It's like 7% faster speed. Um, hardline one less kill really doesn't make too much of a difference, uh, especially since your kill streaks don't stack. Um, scavenger, really, I don't think I run out of bullets that many times. Um, you don't really get that high of kill streaks, or at least I haven't so far. Um, and if you do, you can pick up guns, especially if you have a sleight of hand on. Um, you can, like, pick up any gun and do well with it, especially since you don't need stopping power. So, really, I'd rather have that ghost to stay off the enemy radar. Um, I don't, like, uh... I tend to rush enemy spawns. That's how I, how I tend to get to most of my kills you know you get them you get the most kills by going towards the enemy spawn and if you're like behind them and reloading and they know where you are you're in a lot of trouble but if you can if they pull up that uh, spy plane and they don't see you on it then they'll be like confused and you can be all sneaky and stuff and being sneaky is cool so famas favorite gun um so far at least i think it's three bullets close range four bullets long range so four bullets with um with the FAMAS, quite effective. Um, you know the M16, uh, it does it's three bullet burst still, but it's a little bit weaker. And here you're, you can see a customized uh, red dot sight. You can pick between like ten different red dots. Uh, you can change the color. You can change the color of the lens, which is like the background thing. So yeah, you can change your sight quite a bit. Um, I really just like the normal red dot. Um, what other weapons? Red Dot Famas, uh, that works out quite well for me. Um, I think it's called the Galil, or Galil, something like that. Uh, but that's a really good assault rifle. It's got like a fair, it's like got good range, good damage, kills in three, three, maybe four bullets. Like if you're, I'm pretty sure all guns in this game kill in three bullets close range. And um, I think assault rifles kill four long range and, um, uh, SMGs kill five long range, but I think the difference is uh, certain guns have different ranges than each other than uh, the other. And I pick up a whole bunch of 
guns this game. I got a shotgun out. Um, shotguns suck in this game, by the way. Uh, you saw it took like two shots there, close range. But uh, yeah, so I guess that's the end of the game. I'll talk more about my thoughts on Black Ops later. I think I got 35 and 5. I had like three deaths in a row. So, um, it wasn't an amazing score, but uh, it was cool because I used lots of different guns. And there's a final kill cam for Domination, which is strange. Anyways, see you guys later. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And bye.